Now we move on to bringing the rest of the mechanical portions of the machine together. Start by grabbing all four of the frame pieces, front, back, left, and right, and lay them on a flat surface. The left and right pieces are distinguished by the placement of the slot, milled out to fit the plastic shield. Having the slot on the left means it's for the left frame piece, and on the right means it's for the right frame piece. Grab your assembled Y-axis system. You'll be attaching it to the front and back frame pieces. Be sure to do this assembly on a flat surface. Attaching each side will require two of the longer M8 screws and two M8 nuts. You should notice when tightening these bolts that the nuts fit into their respective nut traps, meaning that you can tighten the bolts without a wrench. Be sure to leave both sides loose initially so that you can make sure that the frame pieces are flat to your build surface before fully tightening them down. Do the same process on the other side, noting that the motor connector tab should pass through its milled spot in the frame piece. You've now completed half of the frame. Starting on the other side is a very similar process. Begin with your assembled XZ system and your right frame piece. Slot the motor through the frame piece and attach them using the same set of M8 hardware. Repeat this on the left side. Now that you've completed both major parts, it's easy to slot the XZ piece over top of the Y piece to complete the general machine form. The last step will be to grab the four frame corner angles and a set of four long M8 bolts and nuts for each to secure the frame together. Notice the nut trap design in the corner angles will help when securing them. Once again, all bolts and corner angles should be loosely fitting to start. Once the frame pieces are all flat with your work surface, you may begin to go around and tighten all of the bolts. This will ensure that dust doesn't leak out of the bottom of your machine as it's running. After sliding the plastic shield into place, it means that you've now finished assembling the mechanical components of your mill one. Next, it will be time to start work on preparing the electronics. If you haven't done so already, please have a computer on hand for downloading firmware and software for your mill one. See you in the next video.